Okay, here are two equations given. In both of these cases, we're told to find the slope of the line. And the line is not drawn, but we're given the equation for the line. Well, we can graph the line and find the slope. And this is going to be pretty easy if we graph the line by finding the intercepts. And so you remember how to do this. Look at this first one. 2x plus 3y equals 6. Let's imagine x equals 0. So x is gone. You're just left with 3y equals 6. It's pretty easy, easy to see there that y has to equal 2. So when x is 0, y equals 2. So let's plot that point right there. And then let's imagine y being 0. Okay, if y is 0, then we're left with 2x equals 6. And you can see that if 2x equals 6, x must be 3. So let's write x equals 3. When y is 0, x equals 3, that's that point. And you can draw in the line. You don't actually have to draw it in to get the slope, but since we've got those points and we've got the x, y axes, let's go ahead and draw in the line. But it's pretty easy to see that if we start at point 1 and go to point 2, that we go down 2 and over 3. So the slope here is negative 2 over 3, negative 2 thirds. In the next example, 5x minus 2y equals 10, let's do the same thing. We'll start off, let x equals 0, and we're left with negative 2y equals 10, so y has to be negative 5. So that's down here. And then let's let uh, y equal 0, and then we're just left with 5x equals 10. So if y equals 0, x is equal to 2. So that's this point right there. And then, again, let's draw on the line since we have our axes and those points. So the line will look something like this. And again, it's pretty easy to see that if we go from point 1 to point 2, and we'll let the point on the left be point 1, and the one on the right be point 2, you can see that we go up 5 and over 2, so the slope is 5 halves. And if you wrote that as 2.5, that would be fine also.